Hello, Abigail. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, mister. So, what do you think? Yep, I think we're fine. This game is for real men. Morning, Vasey, your money's as good as mine. It's hard to keep a poker face with your foul odor. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh. And the amount of money? <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart, at your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh. We got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. 
It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Oof. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two... You sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. Gentlemen. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose. If I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Two halfway up the canyon. Deal with it. Okay, lean roll those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got? We're gonna have to shoot our way up there!
The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Arthur? Hurry up, fellas! Hey, someone cut this rope, me head killing me! God damn it! You're making heavy work of this, aren't you? You know... You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy is back in your lives now.
greatest. seen you around please look around you must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here now grab some items for your camp coffee hunting supplies biscuits canned items all along the perimeter of the shop well let me see then apparently those blackwater robbers are still on the loose Thanks. Sounds over. Cost of Come on in. Just arrived. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? All right. Head on over when you're ready. You need someone to take over for you? Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now relax. You let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. You'll be clean as a whistle. Ain't often to get a hot bath and a roof over my head. Oh, you don't say. So, how's it going with you? Pretty good. once she never bathed me oh I'm not sure what to do with that does that feel good Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. I sure hope I see you again. You look fine up. Feeling fresh, I hope?
Thanks for your assistance. How do you do? Pardon me. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Cat, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people on the see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He 
wasn't O'Driscoll. Shut up! You were up to no good. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Let's get out of here. Keep moving out of there. Goddamn maniac. I should have left you. Showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Come on! Where 
Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Yeah. Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
get my hands. Hey, easy now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, now, now. There's a girl. I won't die to know. Time to find me a farm. Well, girl. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? 
Maybe. Just a little one. Gray? We're back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Back. Uncle so Sean on. is back. Let's have ourselves And don't party. you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. All right, Pearson, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. <laughs> It'll be nothing but the, the finest <laughs> game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. No, oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is it? Morning, Arthur.
expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Okay, then, girl. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them.
left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Can top. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. Then Bison will shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Ah! Ah! It's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! I got a family, a family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those Bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Just me. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. What brings you in here? Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Yes, that gal, give me some. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party then? Oh. Till the taters Shut up. Done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters done. Mm -hmm. So how are mm -hmm. you? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay done. then. I throw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wish to God I'd have passed her by. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tater's got Thank her. you, Mr. Pearson. So did I. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mr. Morgan. Uncle. <laughs> 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 